probably went way long with that one. I don't know what kind of stuff there is hidden around here. Delicious hidden stuff. I see no shiny, but I do see a Pokeball. Oh, there's a shiny! A bottle of PP up. Cell battery. An item to be held by Pokemon. A boost attack if the, unit, if the holder is hit with an Electro-type move. It can only be used once. Just... So, are my Pokemon healed up? Nope! I hope he doesn't have Leon tied up and slathered in honey. That would be a health and safety hazard. No, 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 it's their champion time. Electric seed item to be held by Pokemon boost defense on electric terrain. It can only be used once. That's not useful at all. In the least. Like... Seriously, just not at, in the least bit useful ever at all. Never. I guess I've collected all the crap here. Oop, nope, nope, nope. There's something hidden there. Eerie Impulse, TM93. The user's body generates an eerie impulse, expo exposing the target to it harshly lowers the target's special attack stat. Can you all hear my Pokemon? No. How about Hop? Hop, you gonna heal my Pokemon? I swear I'm gonna heal them all up and I'm gonna get in there and it's just gonna be... Oh, we're gonna automatically heal your Pokemon now. Let's see, basic revive. Hey, Moo Moo Milk. And berries. Cap them all off with berries. <clears throat> I know Leon hopes everybody has a champion time, so they're gonna have a champion time in their pants. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world's this place meant to be? The tower? Yes, I don't know if you know this already, but Ed Rose Tower is built on a power spot. You know what I'm saying? If we get up to the roof, when we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax a Pokemon. Okay, which is all well and good, but it's less certain whether this is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower is like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. Say, Miss Oleana says so, then you look like. Looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Alright, these people know just what we just did. Like, they know that we whomped on everybody's asses. I don't understand why they think they can fight me. Okay, you've got a fast bug. And now it's unconscious. Boy, look how good he stopped me. Having to give up my pocket money means... Losing means I'm back in the red. My, my bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The Chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly Chairman Rose. We beat one dude, and we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Fuzzbutt, let's crack on. Mmm, crack. That's fancy. This is the lift? 
It's a big fucking elevator. It's taking ages. Well, I don't think we're at the roof next. Why are we stopped? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in Galar League's gym challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We'll drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold, the glorious high-tech elevators of the Rose Tower are able to withstand Pokemon battles. They're constructed by subsidiary Microcosmos Construction. I don't know who the villain is. I don't care. Macrocosmos Jane and Mateo. He looks like a Mateo. I'm waiting for Dubwell to be useful during this. Oh, Scald's effective. What level is his double? Huh. Actually on par with them. Well, that's frightening. So wait, the whole building is Dinah is Rose's Dynamax penis? Wouldn't that be Gigantamax then? Look at Dubwool. Dubwool gives no fucks. None. Meow. Meow. Hey, beardy. Are you just gonna come over here, meow at me, and leave? I don't know why I'm surprised by it at this point. That's what he seems to always do. Walk over, meow at me, leave. <sighs> Wrecked. Is it just me or does Cuffant and... Or Cuffiant? Cuffant? And uh, the, the evolution look like some child drew an elephant. And they put it in the game. We create an extraordinary lift that's safe for even a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. Fine. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevator in Rose Tower constructs constructed so that only the floor ascends, but that presence presents some such some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, so the folks walking in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get the top already. Our team's been working this just ragged for us. Let's heal them up. Let's heal them up. Son of a bitch. Every fucking time. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You're now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? Is that a threat? Kevin and Carla. Oh my god, he doesn't even have a fully evolved Pokemon. Well, I bet she wishes that, uh... What is it? Mega Evolution was still a thing? I'm pushing my nope button. That's the sales pitch. Do you have life insurance here in the giant penis tower? Chairman Rose calls it the overcompensator.
You know you have a fire type, right? Everyone here is using steel types. This is why you lost in the finals. Or semi-finals, or whatever the hell it was. Hop. Hop, this is why you lost. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building is well over 500 feet tall. As tall as 100 machokes standing on top of each other. Okay... I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokémon battles. Wait, how many people die in being defeated in Pokemon battles? Alright then. How many people die after being defeated in Pokemon battles? Hi, Beardy. Get off my computer, you chungus. Behave. Beardy. Beardy. Do not climb the fucking electrical outlet. Seriously. Shh. Cat. I might have to chase this cat here a second. Be good. No, absolutely not. That is not being good. You turd. No. Why will you not learn to not get up there? You're still shit. You're cute, but you're shit. And down we go. Ugh. You. You. Puffy cheeks. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. Oh, I've got no fear of heights. I work in high in the skies doing my job for lofty microcosmos air. Air dickhole. Adeline and... What was it? Justin. Motherfucker. He threw out the dub wall again. I'm going to get rid of that abomination first. Where do you think you're going? You're not going nowhere. He's a lap cat, but he takes up more than one lap. Such a little love, though. Aren't you a little love? He likes having his head kissed. Don't you? He likes being cuddled and hugged. Your brother doing something in the living room? Is he being a menace? South Central while drinking his juice in the hood. What are we staring at, even? It must be ghosts. Oh, he's pouncing on something. Nobody can beat microcosmo Macrocosmos air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get the floaty feeling when a lift is going up? Yes, and it disorients me something awful. Don't pre you presume to meet the chairman. You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just of this tower, but all of Galar. Looks as though we're near there, mate. Let's, all, let's do this. What are we even doing? We're interrupting a meeting so we can go to dinner. There's no purpose behind this. My 
Force must stay on guard. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space here nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all the special staff I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of trainers handpicked by the champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid now it's time for you to go home. Because... I will not allow anyone to disturb the Cortamon Rose! You shall be the first, Foswat. I'll be too defeated, then champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart. In the state who listen to anything the chairman says. Ah, uh, she is batshit insane. Good to know. And she sent an ice type at me. Don't you hex me, you knob. And she's got level 50 Pokemon. My, how cheeky to do such a thing to do such a thing as hurt my partner. Melodic. Yeah. Yeah. An excuse to use Cuddlebug. I like excuses to use Cuddlebug. Oh, Electro Ball should do. How did it survive? Seriously. One HP left. Yay. Fire poison. Hmm. Sounds about right, I can abuse rivalry. If it's a Salazla, it's gotta be female. Haxorus really wants some time to play with you. Crunch. Oh god, it just... Okay. Nice. No, we're good. Crunch is effective. Crunch. <laughs> Not a single fuck was given. She got all lady Pokemon? Boy, I'm just gonna abuse rivalry then, eh? Garbodor? This is my last Pokemon, seriously. Only Anna's gotta finish this. She has lost the plot. Yeah, it's Dynamax time. She's probably got a Gigantamax Garbodor. So, might as well embiggen my Haxorus. I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. It's a Gantamax at Rose Tower. A 
very Katamari of her. Get dragon farted. Here's a move I was good with even before I changed my image. Huh. Before she changed her image, she was all poison and garbage. Huh. Well, she said it, not me. She's all poison and garbage. Hey, Meowth is gonna level up again. Hot tub's close. Sigh, I wasn't able to win. Oh, Liana, you really are a hopeless, stinky woman. Ah, oh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I'd have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. Typical falls, but you and Cole also are unstoppable. Should we be concerned with what she said about there not being any stopping? Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals, and then she just puts a gun in her mouth. Wait, what? Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. Well, I don't understand why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from being affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion is this. Isn't this this is this madness is to carry out it's to carry out that championship match? That's what Galar wants and what I want and it's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us there, look at the Galar region stretching out before us. I know that all the energy to require to keep this brilliant glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. We need to go to Mars and open a portal to hell and harvest their energy to power our cities. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take actions in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years. Fine, look, I understand your concerns, Chairman. I'm not giving him a word to help you with your plans. Just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. What the fuck are you bitches doing? Lee, you never showed up where you're supposed to. I got worried something happened. Peter's morning and all this team yell, all balls, they all helped us get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we made you worried at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, was what? Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. A little late, isn't it? If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, I do hope you watch tomorrow's match. It should be one for the history books. Oof, what a prick. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know I am going to change the course of history. With my Gigantamax dick. The next evening. We'll bang, okay? We'll not bang, okay? This is it, you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I have butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. What's up? Challenger, first of all, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need a help now, open his trusty Cinderace, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. It's not, not like those other league staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oleana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with her goals, I'm afraid, and her toxic womb is just not something that anyone wants to say no to. It seems like she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've got no need to worry about today, staff. All of us here are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. Well, I guess we trust her then, yeah, Fuzz, but... Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Who would we trust anybody randomly? 
It's like I'm gonna show you the way to Winden Stadium. Sure. Let's be on our way. Trying to math here. Oh god. Fussbot! I really like the name I picked. This is it. We're here at Wyndham Stadium, the greatest stadium in all got. We were here yesterday, battling. You can show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. Let's go and get yourself checked in. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your fart. Remember the semifinals and finals just speed bumps on your way to face... Okay, that's, um... No regerts! Challenger fuss, but we've been waiting for you since you won your way through the semifinals. You must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through the final bracket will win the right to challenge a champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room right now? Oh my god. We'll show you the way. I guess I'm going to have to do at least another stream of this, because I am tired and need to wrap up. I hate you. I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Smike once we're playing their pod and see him smile once again. Okay. Long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than they faced in the gym challenge. Basically test matches, but this is a serious battle. Wanna go fishing after this? We'll take Alistair there. My mask, it feels like it's going to fall off. We'll take him for ice cream and fishing. Oh, I'm going to win my way through every round, and then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, I'll have failed to replay Duraludon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. I won't be putting on a showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. I'll always press on and challenge myself so I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. My first match is against Rihan of all people. What rotten luck. Even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. Ouch. Grass versus fucking... Fire, huh? Oh, wait, dragon. Grass versus dragon. That's Rihan. Anywho. There should be a Gigantamax Metapod. That'd be funny. Anywho, I am going to wrap up here. I'm going to say, if you watch the stream, thank you for watching the stream. If you're watching this later elsewhere, hi. 41 hours in this game already. People said it was short. A lot of my time has been spent in the wild area being a prick. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Glad to be back on Twitch, I guess. I guess. I shall see you all tomorrow. Until then, whoosh.